Some of the benefits of using ACH for vendor payments include saving time, no more printing dozens of checks and stuffing envelopes, save money, reduce the use of paper checks, envelopes, postage, and the wasted productivity sending them out. Finally, reduce your exposure to fraud. Less checks means less opportunity for a check ending up in the wrong hands. Now let's join Peter Diel as he explains how the ACH payment processing works in Passport's Accounts Payable module. So um, in, in Accounts Payable now, when we go into vendors, what I've done here is I've, I've, gone, into, um, I've gone into the vendor file, uh, and I'm still scrolling. I can actually go to multiple vendors, but I've highlighted vendor number 12, and I've gone to the second tab, the Terms tab, and down here we have the ACH payment section. Now, I'm not going to go through a complete ACH payment cycle, but you can see for each of the vendors, some of some vendors have this and some of them don't. So the vendors that don't have this, they will be printed on checks. The vendors that do, they will be, uh, what will happen is when we do a check run, we'll actually do an AB set within the check run. The A set will be the EFT, and we'll go through and pick off all of the vendors that have entries in here, and we'll use the bank account number for the checking account at the MNH bank, and we'll actually create a file for all of our ACH vendors. Create a file, which is then sent to your bank, your processing bank, and they use that to disperse the funds. If, on the other hand, it's a... Um, if it's a regular vendor or a non-EFT vendor, we simply cut a check like you're used to cutting checks for. So that, in effect, we've built this in rather smoothly so that one check run will do the EFT, will produce the file that ends up being sent to the bank, and then as the next step in the same process, it'll then create the checks. <laughs>